Welcome to the show where we talk about whatever we want, whenever we want, and nobody cares. Hi, I'm Eli, and this is my brother and co-host Joshua, and, and this, this is Podcast. So last night you were away with friends. How'd you have? Did you have a good night? I didn't even get. I haven't really talked to you since today. Um, <clears throat> I mean we had a good time. We 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 went out and we sat at Tesla's for a little bit, talked. Then we went to Donato's. Megan left. We went back to Tesla's. We were gonna watch a movie. We ended up watching national the national National Geographic Channel for like literally three hours. <laughs> then we went to bed. So and then I came back today. And then I was over at mom and dad's for a little. For Hours. I don't even really know if you knew where I went. I just kind of came and went really fast. No, I, no, you didn't say a thing. I actually, it's funny. You went upstairs. You came home. You said like, I have to use the bathroom. So you went upstairs, mm-hmm. and I didn't hear you leave. I didn't know you left. Oh gosh. And so I, I went upstairs and looked for you. I went downstairs and looked for you. I was like, how did he? How did he disappear? So I went with Shell. Shell took me over to mom and dad's. They wanted me to watch Nate for a little bit. He's right. Not doing so hot right now, so. Right. So, you know, last uh, Monday, mm-hmm. we were talking about graduations. We're kind of we were kind of on the theme of summer. We've been talking about a lot of summer things, mm-hmm. a summer break. Um, and you know, one of my favorite outdoor games as a kid was playing with Nerf guns. Yeah, the same. I mean, so I kind of thought maybe we would talk about that today a little bit. Okay, well, if you let me start off with that, I I personally, I know you have a different opinion on it, I personally think the Nerf guns aesthetically were better from when I was a kid to now. So in the last decade, I'd say, they've they've gotten aesthetically worse, the look, the feel. See, and I... I, I disagree with you because a lot of the components that are used today are the component, the same components that from the guns that but you had. But they look weird. They look weird. I liked my uh, my um, what was it? I had the long shot. It wasn't the long shot. It was the next one. The long strike. Long strike. The skinny sniper rifle. That was probably my favorite. Yeah. So, um, but uh, you know, everybody had the Maverick. If you ever played Nerf, you probably had the Maverick. Everybody had the Maverick or the Knight. Find the Knight. Find the Knight. What's that? It was a single shot. Oh, you pull it back. And it had the little, little laser. laser. You squeeze the trigger halfway. The you got laser, laser never worked. Like yeah, you were aiming over here. was pointing way over there, so. Um, so there, yeah. You know, one of, the, one of the ones that nobody remembers from, you know, from that time period, but I thought was one of their better designs and better looking guns was the Firefly. See, I didn't like the Firefly. I remember it. It's the one that shot, that it had shot. The, fla- the flash, right? Yeah, every time you fired it, flashed. It had the glow and dark darts. Yeah. It had an eight round cylinder, mm-hmm. so it had two more than the Maverick. I liked how it was set up because it was so compact. It did. You could fire, and you had the 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 the, the pump was up here, so you could fire. And you mm-hmm. know, where with the Maverick, you had you had out here, you fire, you had to pull it back and fire mm-hmm. with the long strike. Long strike and long shot had the bolts on the side, and that was kind of nice. Yeah. Um, so, I I actually really liked the Firefly. Mm-hmm. Probably though the best gun out of those out of those was um, I can't remember what it was called. I, I was gonna say the Recon, but the Recon was the base model. The Recon was pretty sweet though. The Recon, now there's a modern one that, that Luke and Simon have. What's it called? It, it's, I think it's still called the Recon. Really? The, the Recon was probably my second favorite because it was, it was a small, compact model, and it really was a little bit more optimizable. That it compared, like today though, today they're all optimizable. I, I can't remember, what's that system there's called? There's a new system today? called Modulus, and Modulus, you can yeah. buy, you know, the gun, and you can buy the pieces. Mm-hmm. Um, the Raider. That was the gun I was thinking of. Is that the one with the barrel? The Raider had the drum barrel that sat on the side. Yeah, on the side. And you had the pump fire. And you could, remember what you, you, you figured it out pretty fast and you used it for a while. It was when you held down the trigger and you just kept... <laughs> That's what I meant. They had the slam fire feature. Yeah, so you, you didn't have to... Uh, now, the problem is if you, if, you, if you jammed, it was a... Hor- you know, you had that oh drum God, barrel was horrible. Was horrible to get out. If it jammed, but... Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the Nerf guns, uh, as time went by, they've gotten better about that. They haven't really had a problem with jamming so much. 
Um, I missed the, we were talking about this the other day, I missed the old plunger darts. The old plunger, yeah, they actually still sell them. We just saw them in the toy, we saw them in the toy aisle. Oh, really? Michelle and I were looking to see But they don't come them. with the guns anymore. They come no, with they guns, come with the streamlines. Streamlined ones. Which, I think the design of the streamline came off of the little screamers. Yeah. And the screamers were cool when they worked. Uh, yeah, only like every third dart would actually whistle. But it did, it was pretty terrifying, you know, you, yeah. you when you were and yeah. you're like, whoa, what was... I think the Firefly came with whistlers that were really good. The, they were glow-in-the-dark whistlers. No, I think they were just glow-in-the-dark streamlines or glow-in-the-dark right. stickies. I don't remember. It's been so long. I, I haven't played Nerf in a I, long time. I really. like this new... And now, this is where you, you and I break. I like the new guns. Yeah, you like I don't the... think that they look bad at all. And more importantly, especially as a parent buying Nerf guns for his kids... Kids. I like that I can buy like the recon. I can buy the base model, mm -hmm. and then I can go buy pieces and parts that they can customize themselves. So yeah. I don't have to go buy a long strike to get the scope. Yeah. And long barrel, I can go buy the for a lot less the little scope and long barrel set. Mm -hmm. um, and so you know, it's called the modulus system, and there is a gun called the modulus that yeah, has a bunch of pieces. Except for it's only a single shot, isn't it? I don't I thought know. Was, I thought that was the little one they have, is that little pistol-looking thing with the hook on the back. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought that was no. the modulus. No, that's, uh, no, the modulus is a whole system. It has, like, a banana clip and, uh... Oh, okay. Um... I don't think I've seen that. Uh, See, I don't, I don't pay much... Again, you were talking about being a, being a parent and buying these for your kids and how I'm not, so I don't often... You don't often find me in the toy section looking at Nerf guns anymore, so... But why? I mean... I, I gotta be honest, you know, I'm I'm just edging thirty, yeah. and uh, one of my favorite things to do still is to load up a bunch of Nerf darts. Mm -hmm. uh, I still have a Nerf gun. I have one sitting on my desk. Oh yeah, that, what's that called? Uh, I can't remember the slant, the hammer strike. I think the is what it's called. Strike, yeah. And it's a five round chamber, and it's got that that uh, it's, yeah. got, it's got an actual hammer on it. Um, and I I still love you know gathering up a bunch of darts. And shooting with the kids, you know, just, mm -hmm. you know, have, you know, we, you know, they make a little fort or whatever, and I sit behind the stairwell or whatever, and we shoot at each other, and it's a blast. Mm -hmm. um, it's still an incredibly fun thing to do with the kids, see, indoors or outdoors. See, the thing is, I, I don't usually play Nerf with little kids. When I do something like that, now I haven't done it in a while, when I do something like that, I do airsoft. And I, I, I did airsoft for a little while, and I then I got rid of my gun, and I'm looking to get back into it eventually. I just don't have the time or money right now. I have a lot of other things I'm doing. But um, uh, I had an SVD, a, a Dragunov sniper rifle, um, and it was it, that was, it was a pretty sweet. It was, it was really, really nice gun. I paid I, I put a bunch of money into it to make it, to, to get a nice one. I didn't want, I didn't want to get some piece of plastic little cheapy thing you know I actually got I actually got a decent weapon and I went out shooting with it with some friends a couple times and we, we had a blast with it and I regret selling it actually because I, I would still be playing right now probably with friends you know it's the nice summer it's so far been a nice summer it's been a little hot some of these days but um, I I had a lot of fun with it and I hope that someday I can get back into it but it's kind of it, it's kind of like Nerf for adults, adults. yeah um, yeah and it hurts a little more yeah uh, you know Andrew uh, a couple of years ago, I uh, really wanted to get into it, and since got out of it, mm -hmm. um, just because he got busy with wrestling, he got busy with some other things that he felt were um, more important. More important, you know, it was more important for him to do some other things. You know, everything's a sacrifice. You you you, you do this, but that means you can't do this. Yeah, and uh, so he decided there was a few more things that were more important. So, but for a while there, he really wanted to do airsoft, and uh, he was like, "Oh, Dad, we should make a team." I said, "Okay." So I had a G36C, and he had uh, a pump shotgun that Michelle and I got him. Those, they, it was decent. It was no, it was incredible. I mean, it really it was really good. I think it was, I think it was 350 or 400 FPS, and it yeah. had three barrels, and uh, it actually had three internal barrels. So when it fired, it fired three oh, darts yeah, every time. Three, well, three pellets. Three, yeah, three BBs every time, and. Uh, I mean, it just meant that every time you fired, one of those three views was going to was going to hit, was going to land on target. Mm -hmm. um, even at quite a bit of distance. I mean, he was shooting at from quite a distance, and he was still tagging targets from 
way far out, still yeah. touching something. So, um, yeah, we, you know, for a while there, we kind of get started to get serious, you know, you know, we started getting some gear. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing about Airsoft... It ends up costing a lot more it's than you a think lot it will. Of money. Yeah. If it, you want to get a good gun, you I mean the gu I spent over three hundred dollars on my gun, I think. Mm -hmm. So like and that was just the gun. And then like I, I used to have well I still do on Avik.com where I was where I bought my gun, I was gonna buy my other my next gun that I was gonna buy and all that. I actually made like a little list. Uh, I filled up a cart is what I did. I filled up a cart with all the stuff I was gonna get to 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 uh, check out my suit, you know, uh, to, and it ended up costing almost a thousand dollars for my gun with all the pieces I wanted to get with the gun, um, for my suit, my helmet, uh, extra mags, all that stuff combined. It was incredible amounts of money, and a lot of people. Now there are you can go to certain places, you know, and you can just wear a t-shirt and shorts if you want to shoot. You, there's not that many regulations, except for maybe closed glasses. Um, but then somewhere you go in like, oh, we're doing Milsim, you have to dress up a certain part. And you're like, right. oh, like, or a team. If you want to join a certain team, they'll be like, oh, we wear all that desert certain camos or, right. So, uh, that... Well, the thing is, is, once you've bought all that stuff, you still have gun maintenance. Mm -hmm. You still have BBs. BBs to buy. Yeah. And, you know, you can't just buy what, what, I know the point twos are kind of the standard. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, if you buy a cheap one and you buy cheap BBs like Walmart, you get like point one twos and those are, they're, um, there's like two different places that BBs are made primarily. And the ones coming, if I remember correctly, it's the ones that are coming out of somewhere, I can't remember where. The ones that are coming out of this one place, they're all they're the point one twos. They're all seamed, where they're sealed together, and they fly off course. I and mean, we used to play with them in the, out in the woods, and you'd shoot, and you'd watch the BB fly through the air and go like this. Yeah. Like, oh, there it like, goes. Okay, never mind. But uh, um, with the the point one twos, I think are, made, are the ones that are made in Taiwan, and those when you shoot them, they're the they're the accurate ones. They're point one two and up, I should say. Um, Andrew had an M4 for a little bit too. Mm -hmm. And he put the 1.12s in there. Yeah. And they were breaking as they were coming out of the barrel. <laughs> They'd be like, Pfft. so like you could only use 0.2s in yeah. it. Yeah. Well, like my gun, because it was a higher, it had a higher velocity weight, and for the correct accuracy and all that, and because you wanted it. The thing is, with a gun like that, that's super powerful. You don't want to shoot somebody from right here. Right. You want to shoot them from a distance. First of all, so it doesn't hurt them. Second of all, it's it was built to do that. You know. Right. So you want to sit at a distance, have a scope on, and all that. And the thing is, you had to. Um, it used like point two eights, which are a pretty heavy BB. Um, once you, I think point three is when you start getting the metals. Right. Yeah. I think point three is is the is the copper ones and the steel ones are point fours. So it, it was like point two sixes through point two eights is what they recommended for the gun. I'm like, wow, that's that's so, and it costs a lot more. You know, just being of ammunition, you know, with the with the Nerf guns that I, that I get for the kids, um, the 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 darts. That I've been buying, I've been buying on eBay, mm -hmm. and they uh, getting like you know like five hundred or a thousand darts for like five like five or ten dollars. Yeah, you know it's like ten dollars for a dozen darts at the store. Yeah, and I'm just not sure how that's legal. I don't know if yeah, it's where... being taken out. You know, if it, like it's being you know obviously darts are probably made in China, so if they're being taken out of the factory and then sold mm -hmm. or. I don't know. I I, people are, like, I mean, I still I'm still doing it, but I'm like I just feel funny about it. like I don't know. Are these de they're not defects, so I don't know how this is possible. I'm not even sure it's legal, but um, hey, you know what? It looks like we're out of time. Yep. Uh, until next time, I'm Joshua. I'm Eli, and, and this, this is podcast. podcast.